I want to show you a couple of things before I get started. These are two lights that have 19 LEDs in them, um, and I just I took this one apart, and then I decided I'd better show you what's going on. Um, it has they're interesting. They have two circuits inside. Well, they have circuit uh, with all the protection that they need for uh, for being put into the wall circuit. You know, the surges will kill these LEDs really fast. And in fact, these lights don't have a big reputation for lasting a long time. They can last a long time, of course, but they don't because there's so many surges. So I want to show you how easy this is. This, uh, not all of these are easy. I mean, the CFLs are really hard uh, to do this with, but uh, you need a fairly small screwdriver. But look at it, it just opens right up. It's not glued down or anything. So once you get that open, then what's inside it is this, and um, so then what I do is I cut off these two, I cut off this circuit, leaving the, the white and the black, and then I cut off here, leaving the, the red and the black, and then I have, that, those will give me the connections so that I can put the jewel thief in between those two places. So here's the Jewel Thief. Uh, everything's ready to go. It's hard to see here. Uh, but here's the secondary on the Jewel Thief. There's the regular Jewel Thief. And here's the secondary. This, uh, there's a polarity when you, when you put the secondary together on most of, the, most of them. So I've already looked at this. Um, but this is the check to make sure that it turns on. So when I get it all together, it is going to turn on. So. It's a flaky connection when you do it this way, and it always is a bit brighter when it's done properly. So that goes on. There's another way to look at that, uh, look at this, and it's to put this, this is the positive, and there's the negative, and you can sort of, it's, you can see it's sort of going on. And uh, you can also see, by the way, that that's a different color. And uh, where's the other one? There's another one. There's that. And the pause is all those capacitors and things that are inside. Look at that. It takes a while to turn off, too. All right, so now it's ready to put together. So just to go, just to go over it in a brief way, the lights themselves have a red and a black wire coming out of them. And they go to the secondary wires. That's, that's what happens with those wires. Then the collector coil of the primary goes to the collector. The base coil of the primary goes to the base of the transistor. I mean, it goes to the resistor, uh, which goes to the base. And then normally the battery would connect, the positive of the battery would connect with the twisted pair of the primary and the negative of the battery would connect with the emitter. Instead, what we're going to do is put the positive, the, pri the, the twisted pair onto this white one, which is basically the same as the red, and the emitter wire onto this negative. And then the battery and the battery case is going to be outside of that so here's a little thrift store lamp, and um, I took I took the wire out, and up at the top, I removed this thing and had the wire attached to it on the inside. You can't see anything. So then I took the battery, and I matched it up so that the red wire goes to that middle piece in there, so that when I get it in place, it's going to be right. So then I'll put this in here, and that'll be my switch. And when I finish with the light bulb, over there, I'm going to put the light bulb into the switch, and it'll go on. So now I shortened the wires so that the, so the battery would hang just to this point. And um, so now I'm ready to do this the final moment.
All right, there it is. And then looks like a real light until you look inside. <laughs>